Good evening, Modesto. I'm Bob Brinkman. And I'm Veronica Shapley. Tonight's story, Aliens. <laughs> That's right, Veronica. Call them what you will. Aliens, extraterrestrials, or little green men. Do they walk among us? Some locals would say yes after seeing strange lights up in the sky. Yeah! We saw it land in those woods. It's gotta be from outer space. Oh, but I'm ready for them. See? Tinfoil hat! <laughs> That'll stop them. Ugh, this is the worst date ever. So, what does the government have to say about this? We have with us again tonight, General W.R. Monger. Thank you, Bob. It's good to be on your fine program again. Some of you may remember the general from those reports of a giant woman spotted at a Modesto wedding. Allegedly spotted, Veronica. Those reports turned out to be entirely unsubstantiated. <laughs> now, seriously, General, what do you make of this? Are we being invaded by Martians? Martians? Of course not! So what do you think they saw out there? Well, in my professional opinion, I'd say it was a case of good old-fashioned swamp gas. Swamp gas? Ah, of course. Yes, Mr. President, that's right. Swamp gas. Works every time. Happy to help, sir. Best of boots. I love my job. Oorah. People, with this supposed alien hoo-ha nonsense put to bed, we can finally get back to some serious business. So, monsters. Let's reveal. Once a brilliant scientist researching recumbent DNA and the longevity of certain insects, a tragic accident changed him into the hideous mad genius, Dr. Cockroach, Ph.D. Other unsung heroes of science also paid the price for unchecked innovation. This time in the snacking industry, when a dessert topping was crossed with a genetically modified tomato. It resulted in a gelatinous mass that consumed several city blocks before it could be contained. Benzoate Ostalazine Bicarbonate. Although, uh, we just call him Bob. General, General Monger, sir? I have a question. What is it, Detrop? Uh, actually, it's it's Detro, sir. The, the, the P is silent. Silent P, huh? That ain't nothing but suspicious, mister. I'll be watching you. Next, when explorers in the Arctic discovered and accidentally thawed the half-ape, half-fish missing link, he immediately made for the beach, where he made a giant pest of himself and set back male-female relations some 10 million years. Now, Insectosaurus, the unfortunate result of the carelessness of Adam Age Man. This behemoth is the reason why radioactive waste and grub worms absolutely do not mix. Just ask Japan. And finally, our newest monster, Gynormica, or as she still likes to be called, Susan. After being hit by a meteor on her wedding day, she was infused with an unknown extraterrestrial element, after which she grew to a ginormous size. You get it? <laughs> Pretty good, don't you think? Ginormic. All right, everyone, honeymoon's over. Back to your posts. Now, Detrop, show me my monsters. Good morning, Modesto. Well, many residents woke up this morning to the sound of tanks and army trucks moving in. This has led some to ask the question, is there something going on, Veronica? That's right, Bob. Hundreds of residents were told to evacuate their homes. The military has cordoned off a 10-mile radius, and we've even heard reports that the president was flown in to make first contact with an alleged thing from another world. Wow! The president here! Hear that? Take that, San Francisco. Ha! For more on this, let's go live to the scene. Yes, Veronica and Bob, this is Enrico Puente, investigative reporter. As you can see, I am at the border of the incident, 
where the army has set up a roadblock around what I am told is a crater. A pit of some sort with some thing inside. It's deathly quiet. We're just waiting here as the moments tick by for something, anything to happen. Excellent work, Enrico. Can you tell us anything else? <laughs> Yes, Veronica. We're doomed. Good evening, Modesto. Again, I'm Bob Brinkman. And I'm Veronica Shapley. Tonight, surprising news. For years, mankind has pondered the question, are we alone in the universe? Well, tonight, we have our answer. We do? I, I mean, we do, Veronica. Thank you, Bob. Ernie, can we roll that clip? Greetings, people of Earth. Behold, I am Galaxar, and I will soon be the ruler of the entire universe. I have come for my Quantonium. Give it to me at once. Wow, will you look at that? He appeared in every major city in every corner of the globe, addressing them in their own language. Bonjour, les gens de la Terre. Salute, la gente de Terra Earthy. I say hello, you lot down there on Terra Firma. I want my Quantonium. Give it to me or I will annihilate your puny planet. Come on, mankind. I haven't got all day. Release the scorpion robot e thingy. Go, my pet. Find my Quantonium. Find this human female. She has my Quantonium. Commencing cloning sequence. Good evening, Modesto. Bob Brinkman here. And Veronica Shapley. Tonight's story... We're being invaded. Yes, it appears to be the end of the world as we know it. For more on this historic and world-changing event, we go live to Enrico Puente in the field. General Monger. General Monger, sir, a word. I understand, sir, that the President himself has issued a code brown alert in the face of this alien invasion. You care to comment? Well, there you have it, Veronica and Bob. As usual, the military has no comment. Yes! Go get them, monsters! Give these darn aliens a fight they'll never forget! Hoorah! Wow, it sure was nice of General Monger to give us his plane. I don't think Nice had anything to do with it. He's right, Bob. We need to get on board the alien mothership, find Susan, and work out some way of stopping them. Only a small tactical team will do. Yeah, it's a next to impossible mission. Oh, I love that show! By the way, Doc, I didn't know you knew how to fly a plane. Well, you pick up these things when you're a scientist, you know. There it is! The landing bay. Hang on, both of you. This might just get a tad rough. Whoa! Ah! You're coming in too hot. I think you're too cold. I think I'm just right. Oh, really? I can't believe I just said that. Ah! Yeah! Perfect three-point landing, if you ask me. Oh. Secto, you're okay. And look at you. You've got wings. Yep, he's got them. And I figured, what the heck? Time to put them to good use. Hoorah! Come on, this crate is coming down. We better get out of Dodge. Man, I've always wanted to say that. Oh, 
working a drop. Go, monsters!